Hey, what's up everyone? This is Steven. In today's Photoshop tutorial, we are going to create a burning car. So, we're going to start off with an image like this, and at the end, hopefully, it will look like this. Now, it's not the best, but uh, you'll learn quite a few techniques. So, let's go ahead and get started. Let me just delete this group, and we're going to start with this basic image. So, I have this image. Off, uh, offline, I mean off from the internet. I'm gonna come on over to this uh, this quick mask tool, and I'm just gonna paint in a selection. Um, don't want to get too much. That's probably good. Okay. And now this part is selected. I'm going to click on Control C. Come on over to here make a new layer and control V now it's a little you know it looks out, out of place so let's uh, zoom in a little bit and I'm going to move this I'm going to try to line this up with the bumper let me change the opacity a bit and let's move it Okay, so now I'm going to raise back up the opacity. I'm going to zoom out and click on this layer and make a uh, layer mask. Grab your paintbrush, make sure black is your foreground, and I'm just going to paint out certain areas. Try to get rid of the original street. I'm going to make this a little bit lighter. Brush a bit bigger and click right there. Oops. Let's see. Bring down the hardness. Just so it looks like it's fading out a bit. Go back to the default black foreground and erase a little bit more okay I'm gonna zoom in a bit I'm gonna grab this uh, stamp clone stamp tool I'm gonna hold down alt and select a source from about over here lower my brush size and why isn't that working um, okay I was on the the layer mask. So come on over to the image, hold down Alt, and I'm just going to paint in just to fill that in a bit. Doesn't have to look perfect right now. We're going to mess with it later. And all I'm doing right now is grabbing from different sources up in this orange uh, over here, maybe, just so it doesn't look the same. Okay. So now I'm going to go again, lower the opacity a bit, quite a bit. I just want to see where the edge of the car is, which is about about over here. So let me bring it up, go back to uh, the layer mask, get your paintbrush tool, make it smaller, and I'm just going to come on over here. Now let me delete this part of the bumper right there. Okay, so now it kind of looks like it's a broken front bumper. Okay, so now I'm going to lower this opacity to about 89. I'm going to duplicate this actually. Drag it to the back. And then I'm going to click on Control U bring the uh, saturation and lightness down so it makes it completely bla black. Alright, I'm going to lower this down to about 60 something, 63 I guess. And then bring it down 
and over just a bit. Go into its layer mask, get the paintbrush tool, and I'm just going to delete some. So what that does, it gives it uh, a small shadow, and you'll see why we have that later. It, it makes it look more realistic. Now I'm going to come into this right above the bottom layer and going to make a quick selection. See, so you'll come on over here, around the car. Okay, let's just drag that back and close it. And I'm going to grab my paintbrush tool. Going to make it pretty big. And let's just click here. Okay, now I'm going to give it a, a reddish color. Okay, now come on back over to here and let's color that in a little bit. Deselect, you can grab your eraser tool and just erase some certain parts. I'm going to soften this hard edge over here. Alright, so come on over to your layer again, and I'm going to change this to a linear dodge, and lower the opacity down to about 40. Okay, so you can see it gives it a slight glow, so it kind of looks like the uh, light is reflecting off the ground. Alright, so now I'm going to grab a red color. Um, let's see. I uh, wrote down this color, it's a red color, it's D1-3121, um, okay, so make sure your foreground is that red color, background is white, come to the top, make a new layer, go to filter, render, clouds, and you see what that did, it uh, made red clouds, so now I'm going to change this to color burn, and lower the opacity quite a bit to about 23 or so. So you can see what it did. It darkened it up and gave it more of a, uh, I guess, gruesome look. So I'm going to leave that on. And that's just about it. So right now I'm just going to tweak this flame a little bit. I'm going to come on over to the layer mask, grab my brush tool, zoom in. Going to lower it a bit. out and that's it for this tutorial uh, it looks pretty nice you can find better flame so it looks more like it's coming out of the front of the car and whatnot but that's the technique I use to light things on fire and thanks for watching and remember if there's anything you want me to do a tutorial on just post it somewhere on pixelforlife.com and I'll get to it as soon as possible and don't forget to subscribe for these daily tutorials I try to do daily, but sometimes it doesn't work out. So just subscribe, and there's a lot of good stuff on the site. Thanks for watching.